Now, next time you think you want to take somebody out, pal, get yourself a team. The original series, seasons one to five. I love it when a plan comes together. The A-Team, available to buy on DVD. A lot of writing a series is kind of knowing who you have and knowing what their skills are, what their skill sets are as actors. And, and Dwight, who was Broadway trained and, and, and had a very soft ear and could do impersonations and, and imitations, so he could really go any direction that you wanted him to go. If you could come up with something and give him enough time to work on it, he'd have it for you. You butter my biscuits. I'm not going on no chopper, and that's final. The show tended to focus comedically on B.A. and Murdoch. They had good chemistry between the two of them. They were funny together, and, and they knew how to play off of each other pretty well. And George could play with everybody. Oh, Hannibal, what are you... <laughs> Wonderful sense of humor, huh? One of the things about a high-concept show like that is when you have a high-concept show, they take off and they explode immediately. I mean, the A-Team was a number one show in three weeks. If there was a change, I, I basically say I'm responsible for it, uh, for not having, you know, put myself where I should have been, maybe. But, you know, it's like it was a private studio. I was carrying all my own deficit. You know, my writing staff consisted of an executive producer, writer, a story editor, and, and maybe one staff writer, and that was it. And, and I was always a, one of the writers. As the president of the studio and the owner of the studio, I was one of the writers. So, you know, I mean, I would write Wise Guy, and then I'd write an A-Team, and then I'd write a commission, and then I'd write a Hunter, and then I, you know, I mean, so, you know, it was like a very interesting time in my life. You know, it was, it was, it was a weird, it was a weird series, but it was fun.